In the year 2028, I retire from baseball as one of the greatest brewers of all time. This is my story. The excitement is undeniable. Driving around the wilderness, around Detroit, Michigan, is humbling to say the least because I never thought that I would be here but I'm so excited that I am and I know that our team can do it I know that we can do it we have the people in line to get it done this is the time this is our time Justin Verlander he's a great pitcher Scherzer he's great too but we got our offense we got our pitching guess what there's a reason why we're here ready to go out there and get this done I literally had to turn off my phone from all the texts and all the calls and all the congratulations Ah, Detroit, Michigan, a place where, well, there's not that much money in this place, but luckily we're only here for a couple days, and we have to go up against Miguel Cabrera and Justin Verlander, but I wouldn't have it any other way. I want to go up against the best pitcher in the game. This is one of the best pitchers in the game, and uh, I have full confidence that our team can do this and, and get off on the right track before we head back to Milwaukee for the next couple games. First at bat against Justin Verlander. He already has a run in the second with one out. Man on first. He's going to give me a ball away at 100 miles an hour. Unbelievable. This is something that, that that's, that's new is the fastball away at 100 miles an hour because I've never dealt with something like that. And then he gives me that thing up. And huh, I'm looking for 100 miles an hour. He's so good at changing speeds. And he just gets me to fly out. And uh, my first at bat the World Series not very good all right feeling situation we're already down four nothing in the third with no outs obviously our pitching is not producing but this is just going to be an easy one as i feel this and fire it over to first luckily i was able to control that another feeling situation in the fourth inning with no outs it is still four to nothing our offense is not getting anything going but this one is going to be easy and i'm just going to feel this one and throw it the first for the easy out all right, hitting situation still down four nothing in the fifth against Justin Verlander. He has been dealing and he gives me a oh my gosh! You look for that hundred mile an hour fastball and then he throws a curveball right in the zone, tempting you, and you just look foolish. And then he gives me the fastball and I'm on it a little bit, but I just leave. Ugh, the ball hangs up there too much. Here we go again, looking to redeem myself in the seventh inning with one out. Still have not been able to get anything against Verlander, and he gives me this one. And this one's actually laced down the line. And I'm actually going to be able to move the guy from first to third, but I'm not going to go for two. Just because I don't want to risk anything, especially I'm not very fast. <laughs> All right, so we got the guy home from third. We got to run against, against Justin Verlander, and then he gets the guy swinging. All right, fielding situation. In the seventh, no outs, five to one. So they got that run back. Unbelievable. Oh, man, our pitching is not showing up today. But this one's easy. Thank you very much. Get the out. But we need our offense. Six to one in the eighth. Two men on, no outs. This is not good for us. And this one is, oh, my gosh, right up the middle. Oh, man, this is not good for Brewers fans. All right, here in situation in the ninth, it's already basically over. Verlander is still pitching, so in 112 pitches, his 113th pitch is a strike. Oh, I should have swung at that one. You know, I should just win the fastball and adjust, but he just keeps on giving me those. Oh, gosh, it's so deceiving. You, you, you really just can't get on his pitches. All right, Justin Verlander gives me this pitch, and I lace it for a single. So I actually am able to get two hits in this game, but we're still losing 7-1 to one in the ninth with no outs, but you never know what can happen. Maybe miracles do happen. All right, so here we go. Two outs, and this one is going to be laced up the middle, and I'm actually able to advance to second. So now I'm in on first and second. Maybe something's going on here in the ninth with two outs. Here we go. They brought their closer in. And this is Lay's blooper, baby, and I'm able to scurr. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Scurry home for the run. So now it is two to seven. Just because of some clutch hitting, he went with the pitch right up the middle. Didn't try to do much with it, just a little blooper. And with my speed and my awareness and the coach telling me to go, I am able to score. That is, ugh, yes, even though it doesn't end up helping us as we end up 
<sighs> Unfortunately, losing two to seven. So not the best start to our World Series epicness, but still time. Here we go. Game two. After being completely dominated by arguably one of the best pitchers in the game, all I can do is just, you know, get in the get in the cage, get back on the field in Detroit. And I don't know, but for some reason I feel like my wallet has just been destroyed in this city. I don't know why that is. Oh my goodness. Um, you know, and it doesn't get any easier, you know, because this is the top team in the American League. And when you put Doug Fister behind Justin Verlander, you still got Matt Scherzer coming up. <sighs> it is bad for business. All right, first hitting situation. I got a guy on first and second inning with one out, and Fister is dealing with that two seamer. And he gets me, well, to get a little lazy fly ball. That's so frustrating, man. The two-seamer is so hard to get on. All right, fielding situation is second, still tied. But uh, this guy in first, second, and this one is going to be grounded. Can it be a double play? There's one. And no, not able to turn it in time. Okay, well, we got two runs. So now we got a lead against Fister in the fourth with one out. And he gives me this curveball, and I take it because... I, with the curveball away, it's probably going to go outside, so I didn't want to swing at it. I already got a man out first, one out, so I'm literally right here. I'm trying to move him over, and this, oh, I should have swung at that. <sighs> that's, that's, that is frustrating. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Oh, my gosh. And then he gives me the fastball. These pitchers for Detroit are just completely dominating our offense right now this one lays down the line thank you very much for not grabbing that one first baseman and I'm going for two yes sir come on come on come on come on come on come on yes standing up so I am able to get a double and move the guy from first to third with only one out in the inning and then this guy gets okay that will drop so one run two runs will score as I'm right behind my friend and I score the run and we um I don't know, what is that, elbow bump each other? I mean, this is really what you got to do, man. Just wait for your pitch, lace it, convert on opportunities, run the scoring position, and we're not going to get that many runs against this really good pitching staff, so we got to capitalize when we do have chances. All right, hitting situation here. We already got four runs in the fifth. Guy on first, two outs, and, sure, and uh, Fister is out of the game, and I'm taking pitches right now. I'm trying to see what this guy is giving me here. He's giving me a fastball away at 97 miles an hour. So he has a great fastball. This guy in first and third, and this one again. So he's rattled. He already. I I know that he has people on base. His morale is not very high, so I'm making him throw pitches, and then he fires at nine that I'm out on our fastball. So now I'm learning they like to throw fastballs. So I'm looking for it. I'm looking for the fastball. I'm looking for the fastball. It gives me the fastball, and well, I must have been thinking about something else as I take that. So now it is two and two. Here we go. Looking for the fastball. There is a slider, and it gets me swinging. Huh. All right, feeling situation. Still got a lead, though, so it doesn't really matter that much. Seventh inning. This one right to me, but I boot it. But I'm able to stay on it and get the out. Hitting situation. Here we go. In the eighth inning, one to four. They are able to get one run back. We have one out, and the first pitch is a fastball, chin music. Man, those fastballs, the chin music, I might as well put my tail in between my legs. No way am I swinging at any of those. I just can't react fast enough. This one away, and I just roll over. This going to be a ground ball to the first baseman. Unfortunately, I get out. But, fortunately, we do end up winning the game. Yes, sir, 4-1. to one. So we tie up the series at 1-1, one, one. and that's huge for us, man. That's huge for us. We now want to go down 2-0. And um, with our offense slowly picking up the, snack, uh, the slack a little bit, this could happen, man. World Series my rookie year? <laughs> you got to be kidding me.